I'm trying to get you on my mind less. But then again, I couldn't mind less. Got me like, what's in your coffee? I hope you call me and we can talk about our hobbies. Yeah. Like finding movies to get lost in. And quoting phrases from the office. What's it like to wear that halo? So sweet, it's painful. So would you put me on your payroll, girl? I know it's probably not too healthy. You got me over here obsessing. Whoa. Friends call me stupid, call me crazy. Well, so long to sanity. It is moving week. It is day one. I'm already sweating. Okay, it's Monday. I'm moving on Friday. I have been trying to pack some things up slowly so I don't just procrastinate until the very end because I'm already overwhelmed. So I don't need to be even more overwhelmed the day before. In this closet for the past year has just been a bunch of apartment stuff or stuff for my next home. I'm moving into a town home with two other gals. I feel like I'm packing up a lot more than I did when I moved to Athens into the dorm and to the apartment because this is an unfurnished town home, which is fine, but I've just had to get more things. So there's just a lot more to think about. I took everything out of this closet, put it on the floor, and I tried to condense them into containers. Today, I put the cleaning supplies in a container because I need to clean everything before I even attempt to move anything in. This is what my hallway is looking like right now. It's just full of containers. I wanted it out of that closet, invisible, so I knew the different stacks and containers things need to go in. I um, feel like I'm not even 30% of the way there though. Still have stuff over here. I just brought this bookshelf down though. It's a lot heavier than I thought. So today I need to go through my books. I'm not bringing my really tall bookshelves. I have these large bookshelves and of course I would love to bring every single book with me, but I can't. Every single book that's on a bookshelf I've read this is my TBR cart. I'm debating if I should just bring like a shelf of the TBR cart or I'm debating if I should just bring the whole TBR cart and then take some of my favorite books with me to put on the white bookshelf and then the bookshelf might be filled up with some school books eventually. Also, if you want to know, I have a bunch of packages because I don't have many business casual clothes, so I have been ordering from Amazon, Loft, Banana Republic. I went to Marshalls and actually lucked out pretty good at Marshalls. I have a bunch of packages coming every single day for moving purposes or for clothing purposes or for medical school essentials. Oh, and I have been listening to all... Nope, what have I been listening to? Remarkably Bright Creatures? Is that what it's called? It is just a general fiction story about a couple different characters. Their main character is a lady who works at an aquarium and she forms this attachment with the octopus. It's a book that I actually have, wait, it's literally right next to me. I forget that I actually have a physical copy of this book, but I got it through the Libby app on audiobook because I did not think this was a book I actually wanna sit down and read because it is kind of boring. So listening to it on audiobook is good because I can turn half my brain off and just not focus too much on the plot because it's just like vibes, no plot. That's why I've been listening to I'm about 60% of the way through the book. I think if I just hunker down today, Go dogs and continue listening to the book. I can finish it today while I finish packing it. Got no limit, so girl, let's spend it. A couple weeks in Costa Rica where we both can kick it. I give you my sovereignty. We play Monopoly. You won the boardwalk, but you're living in my head rent free. I wonder when I'll get evicted or if you meant to leave your blender in my kitchen. I know it's probably not too healthy. Like John Bally and it's overwhelming. Whoa. So come Okay, it's later now. I have packed up a few things. I've been working on the books and then just planning out some more things in my brain. But right now it's 4.30, but I'm gonna start on dinner because I went to Greece, my Greece vlog is up, and then I did a pack with me video too. And we learned how to make moussaka, which is a traditional Greek dish. And I'm gonna make it at home for my parents. And it's gonna take me a couple hours or maybe like an hour and a half. Well, it bakes for about 50 minutes, so I need to get on it and start preheating the oven. So it'll be nice to just cook. When I'm stressed, I like to cook or bake. So this will be nice. I'm gonna continue listening to this audiobook. It's not the very good, but I only have a little bit left in it. So I'm gonna 
finish it. While I'm making moussaka, I will film a little bit for you guys. Basically, cooked potatoes and vegetables on the bottom. I just have eggplant and potatoes that I'll layer. Then some cheese, some meat sauce with tomato sauce, bechamel, and then some more cheese. And then you bake it. And it's like lasagna, kind of mixed with silver turtle. It's great. Headphones on. Let's go cook. Psycho, a little wild, insane, a bit erratic, a bit dramatic. My brain is in the panic. I'm going manic. Okay. Okay, it is Tuesday, day two of moving week. You can see me in the mirror, that's annoying. What am I doing today? Um, I'm going through my clothes today, so I'm gonna pack up a good amount of my clothes and just leave the bare necessities here at home. I think I'm still gonna leave my winter clothes actually here, unless I just get the urge to pack a lot of winter clothes and put it in the basement at the town home. But I know I'll come back here before winter actually hits, so I might just leave some winter clothes here. I also got a bunch of business casual clothes over there that I need to pack and hang up. Thank goodness a lot of things worked. If you're wondering where I got some things, I got some shirts from Amazon, one pair of pants from Old Navy, two from Banana Republic, one from Marshalls, and then some tops from Marshalls. And then I'm waiting on a loft order to get here. I ordered some scrubs that were way too big and too long. It's just hard when you're short because they make petite bottoms, which are still not short enough. There's very few companies that make petite tops. Figs makes petite tops, but I have not let myself splurge on figs yet. That's where we're at. I'm just rambling because I'm procrastinating. Let's start doing the clothes. I'm gonna start a new audiobook today, I think. Or I could just listen to the new Gracie Abrams album. I had never listened to her before, but this album slaps, so I've been getting more into her music. But I have an audio two audiobooks actually downloaded on Libby already, so I'll just go ahead and do it. It's every summer after, so that'll be really easy to listen to. I did finish Remarkably Bright Creatures yesterday. I gave it like a two stars. It was not that interesting. It was good to pass the time, but I would never ever think about that book again. But this will be like a really cute summary read. Let's get to it. Invited to any parties, I just sit out from the in crowd and stay within my boundaries. That hang on my friends, and it was great. We go out, but not that late. And I really love and never want to change. But sometimes I can't help but think, Am I missing out on something I don't have? Cause I don't want to give up being good to be bad. Hi everyone. I'm pooped and I look like poop. This is from me literally just at my desk looking at my phone for the past 10 minutes because I need a break. It's really not a good break. I should have just been reading or doing something productive, but oh well. I have been working on packing my clothes and I also put my hanging clothes in trash bags. I've decided I'm gonna keep a lot of my winter clothes here because one, that's just a ton to bring because I'm gonna come back here before winter hits, of course. Um, so I'll just switch out clothes then. That's the update. Watch some Wimbledon today, this morning, and this afternoon a little bit. It's great. Hitting a wall. Hi everyone, it is the day before I move. That's why I have stress pimples. <laughs> I don't have any capacity to put on makeup though. We all get bumps and we all pop the bumps and then regret popping them. Okay, we got an enclosed trailer from one of our friends, so I'll t we'll take anything free, right? We've been packing up, it's kinda hard to see. We still have a ton of room, but that's wonderful. And then if we move over here, this is my car. And I put clothes in here, all my hanging clothes, and then my folded clothes are up there in those black and white containers. And then I have some bedding, and then I have space here on top of the ironing board for more stuff. All right, it is several days later, if you cannot tell. I have moved in. 
But this is the end of the packing vlog, so I wanted to close it out, give you a little sneak peek of what is to come. The Bible verse for today is 2 Corinthians 5, 7, for we walk by faith, not by sight. There's a lot of unknown right now, just a lot of newness in my life right now, and maybe there's a lot of new things and change in your life too. We walk by faith. We can't see the future, but we have faith in the Lord, knowing that He's guiding us every step of the way, and He has a plan for us. This short, simple verse is just very encouraging. I hope you're encouraged by that today. Get ready for some moving vlogs, and then and starting weekly vlogs possibly with med school starting up kind of wild i'm sweating thinking about it i'm also just sweating because i'm hot but you know we're blessed by the lord amen i hope you'll have a wonderful wonderful day and be a blessing to others today bye guys